Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. These are my kale plants. And I've been working really hard this year to figure out a spray that absolutely works on white flies. So you can see some of the white flies there, the patterns on the leaves. Let's see if we can tilt this. All that whiteness, that's from the white flies. You can see it better, like right in there. But as I start flipping over these leaves, look at all the white flies just flying around. That's what I call an infestation. And this has actually been, look at that, my experimental patch. So, I've tried peppermint oil, one to two teaspoons in a gallon of water with some soap. That didn't work. That's what I really use for spider mites on cucumber plants. Then I tried hydrogen peroxide. That didn't work. Then I tried seven spray, which is not organic. Look at that. That did not work. And I actually tried two rounds of that. Look at them all right on there. That didn't work. Then I tried spinosad spray. That's organic. That didn't work. This has been going on for three weeks with the experiment. So now I'm going to soak the undersides. And this is really for kale plants, collard greens, cabbages, plants with tougher leaves. It is two teaspoons of detergent soap. Soap with the detergents in it for cutting grease and stuff like that. You really want something harsh. And then I have one tablespoon of neem oil in there, more oil than in the peppermint experiment. That should coat these guys, kill them off, and take care of them. And the soap should really dehydrate them. And all I'm gonna do, and we'll come back, is just soak the leaves down really well. All the undersides, as they're flying around, I'm gonna try and knock them out of the air. But I'm gonna just soak down everything. The oil, that soap, should work. I hope I have a cure, cure for these guys. And again, this is just for the heavier leaf kale plant. I might even go to a tablespoon of detergent if this doesn't work. We're gonna check back later this evening and see how it's going. Real quick, what I already like better about this spray, is I don't know if you can see right down there. Maybe I'll magnify it. There are white flies stuck to the leaf. So this heavier amount of soap, one tablespoon, of neem oil, you could use any oil if you don't want to use neem oil really, is knocking the white flies to the plants, knocking them out of the air, and that's what I want to do. Detergent soap is harsh, and I'm also spraying the ground. They are all sticking to the ground too, I don't know if you can see them in there, on the leaves of the bean plants. So the bean plants are getting some of this stronger spray too, I'll see how that, that leaf responds. Again, I want to stress, this soap is harsher, so the kale leaf is much stronger, so it can take something more potent when it comes to soap. Don't spray this all over your garden. It may work for other plants, but you want a test spray. But they are stuck to the leaves, and this looks like the best approach so far. It's actually only been three hours, and I used two teaspoons. You could use one teaspoon to start. And remember how bad the infestation was. I see one on there. That one moved could count three or four flying around there, but things have really been reduced, nothing even coming off of there. When you look down here at the weeds, I don't know if you can see it, but there are white specks on there, dozens of white specks. Those are all dead white flies. They're just stuck to that. So when you're testing out new spray, wait 48 hours. I want to make sure that the soap and oil doesn't do any damage. I picked kale because the leaves are really thick. So kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, the brassica families, kohlrabi can probably handle this higher soapy detergent concentration. You might be able to use more mild soap, but it's the soap and neem oil. Look at all the dead white flies on there. I also went around and sprayed some bean plants, cucumbers, and squash just to see how the soap and neem oil does on that. But it looks like this is effective. So this is a great way to kind of wipe out a mass infestation of white flies. And we'll see how things look two days from now. Here we are 24 hours later. And when I turn over the leaves, there's not much there's one flying around. There's, well that one's stuck on there, that's dead. There's one flying around, that's two. You know, a couple of them. This has been significantly, um, the white flies have been significantly reduced using this mix of spray. I also sprayed 
all in here with it just to do a test spray see what happens to the bean leaves they look pretty much the same sprayed all the cucumber leaves right here they look pretty much the same it's really important that you try out different sprays on different leaves because each leaf varies plant to plant and I sprayed the leaves right down there of the zucchini plant I don't notice any damage so I'm gonna wait another 24 hours it's good to wait 48 hours and just see if this spray mix damages the plant leaves right now it's working really well for white flies I wanted to cut in real quick because I forgot that I sprayed this area these are uh, bush beans they're younger and when you look at the leaves I sprayed this half right over here you see some damage on the leaves you see it over here that kind of pattern could be possibly from insects on the underside chewing on it most likely probably from the spray you can see some of that here when you come over to this side I didn't spray over there and there's no damage on the leaves so maybe it's coincidence however I would make note that two teaspoons of the detergent soap on bush beans that are kind of young may damage the leaves so I would want to use a lesser spray meaning less soap less oil combination of both but this is absolutely why you test spray and you wait 48 hours and I forgot I did this bunch I'm glad I walked over here before I finished the video it has been 48 hours so I want to stress again when you're trying new sprays even if they work in other people's gardens you want to test spray wait 48 hours we'll check out the other plants that I sprayed see how those leaves are doing kale again 48 hours it's the morning there's water on here it rained last night so we're inspecting and we're just looking to see what's around so there's one white fly it is well, actually that one's not alive but I see some kind of the white circles right there there's some nesting I guess or webbing and I'm just going through to see there's one let's see if it moves that one's not moving just to see what's left there's one okay that one flew away so there's two so it looks like there are you know a couple around greatly reduced the population with the first spray so when I'm using garden sprays I usually talk about cycles so the first cycle was two teaspoons of Dawn soap a detergent soap something with grease cutter something more harsh again this is for heavier leaves like kale collards one tablespoon of neem oil and this all went into a gallon of water if you're just starting maybe you want to use one teaspoon of soap one tablespoon of neem oil in a gallon of water you can start with something less harsh because I've been experimenting here with different things I just wanted to see what would work and I know that I've used two teaspoons of detergent soap before and my plants were okay so first cycle was 48 hours ago I soaked everything down it really wiped out and killed a lot of the white flies so today will be cycle number two so I'm gonna do the same exact thing I will always talk about using less soap less chemicals good or bad organic otherwise just less when you can so that means maybe for this round I would make a new batch with just one teaspoon of soap it's really up to you you can really vary this but I'm just gonna spray the undersides and get in and cover everything so that I have my second cycle I will wait 48 hours again inspect them if things look good I will stop if not I will do a third time but it's usually two or three cycles to get problems under control and this is pretty much what I recommend for dealing with white flies a tablespoon of some type of oil a harsher detergent soap and it works I just showed you the proof you could try more mild soaps you know maybe when I use the peppermint oil maybe I needed a teaspoon of the peppermint oil maybe I needed maybe two tablespoons of the Castile type soaps the the safer soaps that don't have detergent or I should say the more mild soaps that don't have detergents or grease cutters that's really up to you but you get the idea that the combination of soap and oil works on the white flies so I also sprayed in here with the soap and neem oil spray let's just call the spray <laughs> I don't need to keep repeating it no real damage that I notice at all in here there's some yellowing but that was already present and that's present across all the plants so when I was looking at the beans 
there was some discoloration but that discoloration is everywhere even where I didn't spray so I'm not worried about that sprayed right in here on the cucumbers they look great nice and green no different looking here than over here and if you want to subscribe and follow me I show you how to use hydrogen peroxide peppermint oil spray all kinds of different things on your plants to really take care of those pests that show up in the garden we got a lot of rain in the last 48 hours and this zucchini plant is taking off. This whole area right in here was sprayed. No issues with that soap uh, concentration damaging the leaves. That's what you want to do when you're testing new sprays is really give your plants 48 hours a portion of them, a portion of the leaves and if the leaves look good you can finish out spraying. But I recommend again people always um, get a little bit confused with the recipe so I go over it often. One gallon of water two teaspoons of the detergent type soaps, one tablespoon of neem oil, shake well. You really want to shake this in between, make sure the oil is dispersed all through there. That dispersion is what coats the leaves and the white flies with a nice, you know, fine coat of oil. That makes a big difference. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I will show you how these plants are doing over time. And I also show you how to grow a vegetable garden. Enjoy your weekend and please again check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.